So hi guys, welcome back to the Astroform channel. My name is Vido Oudemans and as you can see we have an 88% lit moon on the 31st of May. And in this video I'm going to talk about what's in the night sky, what you can see with the naked eye actually for June 2023. Let's get started. As you can see the moon is almost full, it's about 88% lit at the moment. And on the 4th of June we will have that full moon. And the moon will be pretty large, it will not be a super moon yet. Uh, we will have a super moon in July and August, but still the moon will appear pretty large in the night sky. So on the 10th of June we will have a moon at last quarter, and on the 18th of June we will have a new moon, and on the 26th of June we will have the moon at first quarter again. So as you can see behind me we have Venus in the western evening sky and in this month you will notice that Venus will be getting closer and closer towards the horizon. And actually uh, June is the final month where we can actually see Venus as an evening star in the night sky. So enjoy it while you can. So very close to Venus we will also be able to see Mars. You can't see it yet but if I wait another half hour you probably can. It will be this. A uh, bright orange dot in the night sky. It will be a little bit less bright than Venus. And as you will see, Mars will also move, move closer and closer towards the horizon until it completely disappears until 2024. On the 20th and the 21st of June, we will have a very nice close approach uh, between Venus, Mars and also the Moon. The Moon will be about 12 to 20% lit. So. Uh, yeah, of course, the 21st of June is summer solstice. It will be the shortest night in the Northern Hemisphere. But nevertheless, um, try to stay awake until uh, sunset and try to find that pair Venus, Mars and the Moon, 20% lit Moon in the Western evening sky. It will be a pretty sight. So as for Mercury, that planet will be very hard to spot in June 2023. But if you want to give it a go, um, you, want, you might want to try the 4th of June just before sunset. Sunrise. So in the morning sky just before sunrise look towards the east northeast and you might be able to spot Mercury um, above the horizon very close above the horizon if you're lucky. So let's move on to Saturn and Jupiter. Both planets will also be visible but uh, they will be visible just before sunrise in the southeastern sky. So uh, Saturn will rise above the horizon first and Jupiter will follow about one hour later. And you will notice that these planets will gradually move upwards in the sky during this month. So we will also have a close approach between the moon here and Saturn on the 10th of June with the moon at last quarter. And then on the 14th of June, uh, the moon will be pretty close to Jupiter. It will be 17% lit, so very nice. Uh, not conjunctions, but close approaches between Saturn, Jupiter and the moon there. Let's also talk about meteor showers. It's getting a little bit chilly with Venus on the background. But the first meteor shower you want to know about is the daytime Ariated meteor shower. It will be visible until the 24th of June and it will peak on the 7th of June with a zenith hourly rate of 50 meteors. So that means that under ideal circumstances when there's no moon in the night sky and you are in a dark sky location you might see up to 50 meteors per hour. But anyway the moon on the 7th of June will be about 89% lit. So it will be difficult to spot these meteors in the night sky. If you want to give it a go, uh, watch after midnight towards the northeast. Uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere and you might be able to spot some of those meteors. But let me also talk about that second meteor shower you will be able to see in June 2023. And that's the June boot hit meteor shower. Um, it will be visible from the 22nd of June until the 2nd of July. And it will peak on the 27th of June. Uh, this meteor shower on the 27th of June, it has a, a variable zenith hourly rate meaning that we're not exactly sure how many meteors you will be able to see during that night. Also, uh, the moon will be 69% lit, making it a little bit trickier to actually watch and see those meteors. Um, just look towards the west northwest after midnight and hopefully you will see some interesting meteors during that night. So let me also give you some personal tips if you want to watch those meteors 
uh, me personally I would actually go outside somewhere in between the 10th of June and the 25th of June because during that time there's a little to no moon in the night sky and it makes it a lot easier to spot those meteors and if you want to see the Milky Way the Milky Way will be in the southern sky after midnight so uh, you want to go to a dark sky location when there's no moon in the night sky so that would be the 18th of June during a new moon so I hope these uh, tips are useful for you um, I do hope you have some clear skies in June and hopefully I see you in the next video clear skies Thank you.